Thank you, Mr. President. We have an opportunity. We have an opportunity to come together to cut taxes for American families. In my state, the families of more than 500,000 children and to cut taxes for American manufacturers. The deal negotiated by Finance Chair Wyden, a Democrat, in, ways in, in the Senate and Ways and Means Chair Smith in the House, a Republican, along with his colleagues of both parties, is overwhelming bipartisan support. It passed the committee in the House 40 to 3. It passed on the Senate floor, on the House floor, with 357 votes. When, Mr. President, does that happen here? It's how Congress is supposed to work. We talk with the people whom we serve, we hear their concerns, and we act. Families are dealing with costs that are far too high because corporations continue to raise prices to pay for executive bonuses and stock buybacks and higher profit margins. You know, when I, I, I often think of this because I hear when my wife and I are at the grocery store uh, near our church in Brecksville, when I'm out talking to people at a round table or just at an airport, people will talk about high food prices. And one of the reasons, the biggest reason, when people go to the grocery store, they realize they're paying for stock buybacks and executive bonuses. The American, American manufacturers have been telling us they can't compete with countries like China without more investment in research and development, but expiring provisions mean the tax code isn't rewarding the kind of investment that it should. And I heard in Ohio from people in East Palestine, I'm going for, I believe, the ninth time uh, there next week, uh, worried they would, that this is the place, the community in Ohio and the Pennsylvania border in eastern Ohio, uh, where the train, the, the Norfolk Southern train derailed, causing all kinds of hardship for people. But people in East Palestine are worried, they tell me, that they could be hit by a surprise tax bill for the payments they rightly receive from Norfolk Southern after the derailment last year. It's unacceptable. People of East Palestine have endured enough. So we, come, we came together to write a bipartisan consensus bill that does all of those things. At a time when Washington seems pretty broken, we have an opportunity to come together and show the American people we can get things done. We can cut their taxes. We can support their businesses. We can help keep intellectual property in this country. We can help create jobs. We can help families. The expansion of the child tax credit will help Ohio working families keep up with rising costs, including all the extra expenses that come with raising kids. It has broad support. Everyone from the nuns on the bus to the National Association of Evangelical support uh, support expanding the, the child tax credit. I know the presiding officer, the, um, the senator from Arizona, junior senator from Arizona, and I have talked about how important the child tax credit is. It supports work. The nonpartisan scorekeepers at the joint Committee on Taxation confirmed that this bill won't reduce work. When I hear from Ohio parents, the number one thing they say they use their tax cut for is child care so they can work. We know how expensive child care is. Also, when we passed this child tax, care, child tax cut, child tax credit's called, but this tax cut for working families where, uh, where 90 percent of children, 2 million, the families of 2 million children in my state benefited from it. We passed it three or four years ago and it expired, unfortunately, but I got letters from families all the time saying, you know, now my, now my daughter can play soccer and we can afford the school fees. Now my son can be in a school play and afford fees. Now we can uh, maybe go to a movie once a month. All the kinds of things that families living on the edge or families not quite living on the edge contend with, it gives them that. It's a key and it's key for Ohio manufacturers um, that invest in research and innovation. Uh, it's expensive, it's vital for keeping up with global competitors. These tax credits will allow Ohio companies to compete. Last month I did a news conference with two longtime friends of mine, uh, two former Ohio Republican congressmen, Steve Stivers and Pat Tiberi, both represented Central Ohio districts. Stivers is now president and CEO of the Ohio Chamber of Commerce. Tiberi is now president and CEO of the Ohio Business Roundtable. They both ask about they both, they, talk, both, they both talked about how crucial these tax cuts are for Ohio businesses. Their major priority for American companies, as my Republican colleagues in the Senate have made clear to us all year. It's why Chairman Wyden and many of us work with Republicans to write a bill that's a win-win for everybody. It's a true bipartisan process from the start. It includes ideas that have support from both parties. Take the look back provision of the child tax credit allowing parents to use the previous year's income to make sure they get the maximum possible tax cut. 
This is an idea that Senator Cassidy from Louisiana and I worked on together during the pandemic. We got support from both parties. This will make this bill work better. It will make this bill, it will enable this bill to help, uh, help fam children and families more. It's the same option that corporations have in the tax code. Why not make it available to families? Because corporations can often do look backs, can look at the year before and calculating their taxes. Why should children not be able to? The way Chair Wyden and Chair Smith negotiated this bill is how we should do this. We listen to the people we serve. I know that, that Chair Wyden spoke with a number of Republicans, members of the Finance Committee. He spoke with me often during this process as we worked on both the, uh, the R&D tax credit and the child tax credit. I know that Chair Smith worked with members of both parties on his committee. That's why he, he passed it out of his committee 40 to 3. Imagine, 40 to 3 on a tax bill in a, very, in a Congress that has difficulty getting, getting to cons consensus and getting things done. We made sure members of both parties were in the room in these negotiations or were in the room in terms of having discussions. We got something done that brought people together. It supports families, it supports businesses, it includes priorities of both parties, it supports work, it supports American innovation. It won't add to the deficit. It's paid for by cracking down on fraud. No reason not to pass this deal immediately. Again, 357 voters, votes in the House, overwhelming bipartisan support in the committee, then in the House. There's no reason to wait other than playing politics. We see it far too often here. We need to move. Tax season's underway. Families and businesses need these tax cuts now. Why would we walk away from a bipartisan bill that we could pass today if members would put aside egos and politics and all that too often gets in the way? Let's cut, come together, Mr. President, to cut taxes for working families and cut taxes for Ohio manufacturers. I note the absence of a quorum. The clerk will call the roll.